Hey guys, it's Joey Gaming, and welcome back to the Joey Gaming YouTube channel. Today, I have another commentary criticism video for you wonderful people. Like always, please do not go harass this creator. Even though there are some points and some opinions that I personally disagree with this guy, that does not reserve the right for you guys to go harass him, alright? Honestly, this guy honestly doesn't deserve to get cancelled. I'm just here to criticize and to basically try to make him a better person and all and all that stuff, alright? So please do not go and harass this person, alright? I don't condone harassment. That's all I'm going to say. But that's that disclaimer done, alright? Because I don't want YouTube to take down this video for harassment, alright? Even though that's not what these videos are. I, I have to say this type of stuff because YouTube... But, you know, YouTube can be stupid sometimes. So, anyways, if you don't know who this Death Noodle person is, Death Noodle is part of the commentary community, sort of. Alright, what he does is he does commentary... Um, someone just invited me, sorry. He does com uh, comedic news. He, he's, a, he's a comedian, and he talks about uh, news and stuff, and he makes jokes, and he's part of the commentary community, and he makes videos, news videos, about the whole situation. Personally, I don't watch him. Apparently, he's a good content creator. A lot of people like him, and I understand that, but today, he actually, there's a lot of stuff I disagree with him, and I will talk about that in a little bit. He actually recently did a news story about a 14-year-old girl vaping, and which is, to be honest, 14-year-old girls vaping, it's kind of a regular thing. And this girl was getting, like, canceled or whatever about because she was vaping. Th this guy actually went out and tried to get an interview, tried to get a statement from her parents, which is a little bit creepy, if you ask me. Trying to get their creepy, all right? It's one thing to get a statement from a company after a controversy, all right? Th that's one thing. But it's a totally different another thing to go up to their someone's parents and get a, to ask them for a statement. So that's a little bit creepy, and this guy actually got exposed for it, and res and in response, he goes out and says, uh, it's satirical, and what he said wasn't meant to be said, and he said it, it was a joke, and it wasn't meant to be serious, and no, he, he, he didn't actually go out and do that. Which is fine, reasonable, it's, it's super reasonable, but the thing is... You said that you say this every time you get into controversy, saying, "Oh, it, it's a joke. It's I'm being satirical, and all that type of stuff." I, I I get that, but it seems like that every time you get in trouble, you're trying to defend yourself. Sometimes it's better to say, "You know what, man? What I did was creepy. I 100% apologize, and I probably and I won't do that ever again." Dude, that's what you should have said. Like, that's kind of the mature thing to do is to say, Hey guys, what I did it was absolutely unacceptable. I apologize, and I won't ever do it again. That's the mature thing to do, alright? You don't, alright? Sometimes if it's something really bullcrap and you really need to defend yourself, then go ahead and defend yourself. But what, it, the, what this is doing is it's really stupid and shows that you can't take criticism. Recently, the uh, Argy RFC... Uh, channel not channel the creator here actually recently gone to some beef with this guy and a few other commentators and this includes T tipster and optimus if you know who those are all right you guys probably know who optimus is not tipster uh basically the same people who was involved with the suzy lou controversy back whenever that happened all right and you know what death noodles could take some death the noodles should take a look at the suzy lou situation because suzy lou yeah she she does, she, let's be honest, she hasn't really changed much, alright, she's still doing her thing. I'm probably gonna make a, that vi I'm probably gonna make a video about Suzy Lou soon, uh, talking about if she has changed or not. But yeah, so recently he's been called out again, and, and now he has made this tweet, and he said, Conclusion, there's a group of YouTubers who attempt to present themselves as moral center of the commentary community. These same folks dogpile on other YouTubers while they get the chance and don't get and don't get twisted. They would never face off one on one. They need the group. So first of all, you should not go after the commentary community because that is just really stupid. Uh, second of all, I have to kind of agree with him. All right, there are some content creators, some commentary channels that are not really moral. All right, most of them are like immature, immature twelve-year-olds that think, "Oh, I'm, I want to be a, I want to be like, I want to be like John Swan or Optimus." And you know what? I'm kind of in the same boat. But the thing is, these kids, 
are they, they get into any controversy they'll they they're they're, they're but they're the bad guy most of the time all right and they want to get into any controversy all right and they would start drama with another creator or some other creator would try to make fun of them or something or they would c criticize them in the act video person will go at the others other, and then that other creator will go after the other creator all i'm saying is that there are some immature and not really there are some commentator commentary channels that are not really moral and what this is and i kind of have to agree but john swan the uh, rfc all those type of groups are, are really mature and all that stuff i know argy can be a little bit dark and twisted sometimes and a little bit toxic but that's not him most of the time. He just likes to make jokes, which is fine. Uh, Leafy was the same. And honestly, to be honest with you, I probably won't be doing that. I probably won't go out and say that. I probably won't be toxic. I might say a few jokes, but I'm not going to say anything really racist or offensive on all that stuff. Next, he says, these YouTubers bait people to respond, and when they get a response, they say the person is too sensitive for responding. It's a cheap tactic to use to invalidate someone's freedom to respond and effectively sh and effectively shuts them up so about this is that no that's not the case like i said for earlier that uh there might be some creators that might do that like some very wannabe co commentary channels that would do that but no that, that's not what they're trying to do they give you a chance to speak up Personally, I try to try to give them a chance to speak up when I'm in controversy with another creator. Not too often, all right? The only time I was in a controversy between another creator was probably the Amber, Amber Andin situation from earlier in the year. But even then, I was neutral in the whole situation, and I got really criticized once from the guy. But let's be honest, that whole situation was, was dumb. So that's all I'm going to say there. These YouTubers try to cloak themselves in holier than thou mantle, as if they're not prone to do the exact same things over YouTubers doing for clicks. Spoiler alert, they do. The thing is, we're all human. We make mistakes too, and that's the point of criticism, even if it was deserved or not deserved. Is criticism is trying to make us a better person. Right now, I'm criticizing you because you're calling out people that shouldn't be really called out and i'm d criticizing that you're not really taking criticism well also also you're saying how you react to criticism is really bad so that's the point of criticism these youtubers use shady tactics like the franchise majority creators they make jokes that hinge on uh, misogyny that f they flirt with fascist ideas and mask it as it with uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. I'm sorry, I can't speak. But, w they're not fascist, dude, alright? First of all, Aggie, yeah, he can be toxic sometimes, but he's not all that all the time, dude. And no, the most commentary channels are not going to do this, dude, alright? Maybe if your name is H3H3, then, yeah, then maybe, but then maybe. The irony of all of it is that if you fight back or respond, then they deem you sensitive. If you don't respond, they will run all over you. The thing is, it really depends what you say, alright? If you actually have a good argument defending yourself, then, then you, then you, then, then you can defend yourself and then you have, might get a good point. And they might respond back saying, you know what, this is totally fine. It's okay to have your own opinion, but how you're reacting is not okay into this whole situation. And... You know what, if you don't want to mess with people, you don't want to mess with critics, if you don't want to respond to critics, then don't respond. Yes, they might run over you, but that's like a short-term side effect of that type of stuff. So, just ignore that, and you don't need to go through that whole process. I'm from Brazil. I moved to America by myself when I was 12, with nothing. I don't run away, and I'm not apologizing for what I'm standing up for, yourself, for myself. First of all, I, I, who asked if... Nobody asked where you came from and why. Nobody asked that, buddy. No one asked, all right? I, I know that's a common... That's, I know a lot of people are saying that, but... Yeah. Also, it's a good thing that you're standing for standing up for yourself, but what you're just doing is kind of really stupid, and your opinion kind of blows. That's all, that's all I'm going to say. This group of YouTubers are right now going on a stream while they make... Wait, hold up. Let me do that again. This group of YouTubers are right now going on a stream where they will most likely read this thread and attempt to mock me. I say do keep 
laughing at me. Just don't, just try, okay. Just don't try to later say that this isn't funny. And that's the end of the whole thread. So basically, to summarize it, this guy just came out through the commentary community for being a bunch of bullies and saying that they have no purpose and saying that they're evil people. Instead, yeah, there are some commentary channels, H3H3, who are really awful people. But most commentary channels like John Swan, Augie, want to have the right mind and want to criticize you to make you a better person. So anyways, guys, this is the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. Leave a like and a comment. And subscribe to me on YouTube if you haven't. And click that bell notification for another video every single day. But anyways, guys, this is Joey Gaming signing out. Peace.